Anhydrides can react in the same fashion as acid chlorides when we mix our anhydride with nucleophiles. So basically this reaction is known as the addition elimination reaction. So earlier we discussed that if we take an acid chloride and mix it with a nucleophile, the nucleophile will, will add to the carbon of the carbon-oxygen double bond and that step is known as the addition step. The second step is the elimination in which our pi bond is reformed and we kick off the good leaving group, the chloride. Now in our anhydride molecule, the leaving group is not the chloride, but this carboxylate ion. So in the first step, in the addition step, the nucleophile forms a bond with carbon, displacing the pi bond, we form this tetrahedral intermediate in which we have a negative charge on the oxygen. And in the second step, in our elimination step, the pi bond is reformed and this good leaving group is basically kicked off. So this bond breaks off and we form a resin stabilized molecule, our carboxylate ion. So what makes this a good leaving group is the fact that we have resin stabilization on our carboxylate ion. And of course we form the acyl compound. So this reaction is very similar to the reaction with our acid chloride on which instead of this carboxylate we had our chloride that acted as our good leaving group. So we transform an anhydride to an acyl compound. Now, way back when, we discussed an important reaction with benzene rings known as the friedel crafts acylation and we used the acid chloride as well as aluminum chloride. Now, we can actually replace the acid chloride with an, um, this molecule, our anhydride. So we said that if we take a benzene and mix it with the acid chloride in the presence of our aluminum chloride, we get this substituted benzene ring. Now if we replace our acid chloride with our anhydride because these two molecules behave in such a similar fashion, they are able to undergo this addition elimination reaction, we produce the same exact type of product. So let's look at the reaction mechanism of this particular reaction. It's basically analogous to the reaction mechanism of this. So in the first step, we react our anhydride with our aluminum chloride to form a resin stabilized intermediate that will play the role of the good electrophile. So basically, our two electrons on the oxygen form a bond with aluminum forming the following resonance stabilized intermediate on which on this structure we have a positive charge on the oxygen but if this bond breaks off and forms a pi bond here displacing these two electrons onto the oxygen we basically place our positive charge onto this carbon and this is our molecule that will act as our strong electrophile. So the benzene will act as our Lewis base. This will be our Lewis acid. The base will use the two electrons to form a bond between let's say this carbon and this carbon and we form this resin stabilized intermediate and in the final step we have some sort of base present in our mixture that deprotonates this H atom reforming our aromatic benzene ring that is now substituted on this carbon here. So we have this acyl group that is attached to our benzene ring. So we see that because acid chlorides and anhydrides behave in such similar ways, we can actually replace the acid chloride in the Friedel Crafts acylation with our anhydride and the reaction, the final product, will be exactly the same. So the anhydride is a very useful reactant when we're trying to form our mono-substituted benzene rings from simple benzene molecules.